Hi everyone, this is a full, in-depth overview for Sticky Web. Sticky Web lets you parent directly in the composition, making it a completely visual thing. It also improves on anchoring your layers. In this overview, I'm going to show you how to use the tool and how to anchor and parent and its limitations. Then I'll get into the features of the full version, like using loops, quality of life improvements like user settings and quick set menus, colouring the layers and showing their bounding boxes, reloading existing parent webs and unstacking anchors. Finally, I'm going to show you some of the complex characters and how to use Sticky Web to rig them. Time to get into it. Let's start with the basics. When you click Sticky Web, a few things happen. Firstly, it goes through every layer in the comp and visualises the anchor points for every layer it can. There are a few layers that it won't run on though. Firstly, anything 3D, like 3D layers, camera and lights. Secondly, locked layers. Thirdly, adjustment layers. Fourthly, any guide layers, but we can change this one later on. Every relevant layer is soloed and locked, so it's best to not try and mess with the layers. It creates two new layers, a web layer and an anchor layer. We draw our parenting webs in the web layer and we adjust the anchor points in the anchor layer. Once you've got the anchors all fixed and the parenting all done, click Sticky Web again. The first thing it does is check if both the web and anchor layers exist, at which point it locks in all the anchor points and the new parent hierarchy. I'm going to show you two different ways of using Sticky Web to anchor the layers. Firstly, to anchor our character, select the anchor layer. In this layer, each and every anchor point is actually a mask. This means that you can move each anchor point just by selecting its mask and moving it to a new location. Let's start moving the anchor points and take advantage of this X-ray mode. Since every layer is at a lower opacity, you can easily see where the layers overlap. And if you move the anchor point to the middle of the overlaps, you'll get a pretty decent rotation point. Once we're done, click Sticky Web to lock it in. Now you'll see that all the joints are rotating pretty nicely. So, I moved all the anchors one point at a time. That's nice and all, and that was still faster and easier than using the pan behind tool, but there is a better way. Let's hit undo a couple of times and reset everything. You remember how I said each anchor point is a mask? That means that we can select multiple anchor points and adjust them together. If I grab the selection tool, I can shift these two points and move them up together. And if I select these two, I can double click them and get the transformation box up. I can adjust all these anchor points symmetrically, but ultimately Sticky Web is meant to be a quality of life tool. So do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now the anchors are set, we can run Sticky Web to lock them in place. But while we're here, I'll show you how parenting works. I'm going to show you three different ways of using Sticky Web to parent your layers. Firstly, parenting is done in the web layer. The way parenting works is again using the masks. So grab the pen tool if you haven't already. In the comp, you draw the web on top of the layers. We draw our parenting webs outwards, meaning we would start with the base of the hierarchy and work our way outwards to the fingertips. In this instance, we click on the anchor point for the pelvis, then on the anchor for the torso, then the shoulder, the forearm, and finally the hand. When you click and add a vertex, don't stress about landing exactly on the anchor point. Sticky web will target the closest anchor, so close enough is good enough. Okay, one arm is webbed up, let's draw the other web. The quickest way to create a new mask is to hit Control A. Now let's sort out the other arm, starting up from the torso outwards. Control A again to start webbing the legs. Once done, hit Sticky Web and your parenting journey is over. Congratulations, well done! Let's do parenting a different way. Like I showed you in the quick overview, you can just draw one half of the character and then duplicate it and flip it over to the other side. This might help you save time on symmetrical characters, especially for more complicated rigs with fingers and accessories. There is one more method though, which will make parenting faster than you could believe. Okay, fresh slate. Start drawing the web again, from his pelvis to his torso, shoulder, arm, and hand. But we don't draw a new mask, we just keep going. Click back to the pelvis, out towards the torso, to the other shoulder, then the forearm, then the hand, and keep on going. Back to the pelvis, down the leg. Then back to the pelvis and the other leg. Finally, we're back to the pelvis, up to the torso, and finish off with the head. Using one mask, you can web up the entire character. No need to hit Control A a billion times. 
hit sticky web. It cleverly goes through and parents everything correctly. Trust me, this is a huge time saver. So what can't sticky web do? As I mentioned earlier on, it can't anchor and parent 3D layers. Also, I opted to not make it run on adjustment layers, locked layers, and guide layers. It also can't adjust anchors on animated layers. If you try moving the anchor on a layer with either its position or anchor properties animated, Sticky Web will ignore them and then give you a list of layers it ignored. If the script breaks at any point, it will pop up with an alert box saying, hey, I broke while trying to do this thing. If you keep getting this, raise a support ticket and I'll look into it. That's the basics of Sticky Web. Everything I've gone through so far is completely available in the free version, but the full version gives you so much more. Let's take a look. In the full version, you can use the webs to parent in even more clever ways. Firstly, let's take a look at the face here. There are a lot of layers and we don't really want to parent each one to the head one at a time. That's annoying. Normally, you just select all the layers in the timeline and parent them to the head. But with Sticky Web, all you need to do is draw a loop. Loop around all the layers you want to target. Then, to parent them to the head, simply add a single dot to the head's anchor. Just like that, every anchor point we captured with the loop is parented to the single web point, all done in the comp. Also, just to note, instead of parenting everything to that single point, you can also parent everything to the end of the web. That means you can web up the torso, the neck, then the head, and everything in the loop will still be parented to the head. Looping basically does the same thing as this. Secondly, how often do you want to parent everything to a new null? Always? Well, just draw a loop around the anchors and leave it completely empty and run the sticky web. A null is created in the dead center of all the looped layers with everything parented to it. In here, you can change the default settings for sticky web. When I click it, a settings menu pops up with a couple of options. Let's walk through these one at a time. X-Ray. This is on by default, even in the free version. X-Ray reduces the opacity of all the layers, making it easier to see where the layers overlap. Colorize layers. When you turn this on and run Sticky Web, every layer gets a random color assigned to it. Aside from looking cool, the colors match the anchor points. This makes it easier to tell which layer your anchor point is assigned to. Ignore guide layers. By default, Sticky Web ignores locked layers, adjustment layers, and also guide layers, but sometimes your workflow needs guide layers included. So just toggle this setting depending on what you need. Load parents. Load parents will preload the current parenting structure and convert them into usable, changeable webs. If your character is already parented or partially parented and you wanna update it, use this option. This will unparent all the relevant layers, meaning whatever web you create will completely override the previous hierarchy. Unstack anchors. In some rare cases, you'll find that multiple layers have the anchor points overlapping on each other. This is a drawback with Sticky Web, since the visualizer only shows one anchor, when there might be more underneath. Unstack anchors checks for possible overlaps, then spreads them apart in a radial fashion, making it a bit more easier to work with. This tool goes best with the colorized layers option, as you can more easily identify which anchors belongs to which layer. This option will draw the bounding boxes of your layers, making it easier to tell which anchor is assigned to which layer. All bounding boxes will draw the bounding boxes for every layer. Relevant bounding boxes will only draw the bounds for the latest web vertex you drew. This option is helpful if you need to know which layer Sticky Web is going to target. When you run Sticky Web, choose which layer to start working on. By default, it assumes you want to draw the webs, so it selects the web layer. But if you find yourself usually starting with the anchors, change it to the anchors for a speedier workflow. When you hit save, it changes the default settings for Sticky Web. But if you need a different setup for a one-time use, then you should use the Quick Set menu. Shift click on Sticky Web to open up the Quick Set menu. This is a one-time use menu that doesn't affect your saved settings. You could either run the script with all the settings turned on or pick and choose what you need. All right, time to show you the full capabilities of this tool. I'm gonna to open up one of the sample rigs. This will be included in the full version, so follow along. Let's start with this multi-legged millipede. There are a lot of layers and a lot of joints to anchor and parent. So how would I approach this using Sticky Web? First up, Load it up. There are a lot of layers, so it might need a moment. 
Okay, first up, I need to adjust the anchors for all the body parts. Jump into the anchor layers and grab the selection tool. Select all of the anchors on the thighs and move them to the base of their legs. Do that for the lower half of the legs as well. For the body, I'll move them to the upper corner here. I designed the millipede so that this is the ideal rotation point. Once I wrap up the head layers, I'll jump onto the web layer to web it all up. There are a lot of layers to parent, but don't forget, duplicating is a thing. I'll start with the back legs here and quickly web them to the body. Then I'll duplicate that and slide it over to the next leg. Then I'll duplicate that again and again and again. Oh, and I need to web out the spine. I think I'll start from the back and web it up to the front. Once I finish up the head, I'm done. This massive beast of a character is all re-anchored and parented. Okay, I've got a much more complicated explorer here. She's a lot more intricate than the previous explorer. She's got fingers, a backpack, some hair layers, and a bunch of face layers. There's a lot going on here. Let's get started on the anchors, shall we? Like earlier, I'll adjust the anchors symmetrically. I'll do it on the limbs as those are the layers easiest to work with. For the fingers, I think it'll be easier if I zoom in close and do each hand on their own. I'll finish anchoring the bigger parts of the head, but I'll leave the face layers as they are. Okay, time to parent. Since the arms are fiddly, I'll start with them. I'll web up the left arm, including the fingers and the thumb. I'll also knock out the left leg. Now I'll select all of the web, duplicate them and flip them for the other side. I'll tidy up the torso and the backpack and then work my way up the head. Finally, I just want to parent all the face stuff to the head. So I'll draw a big fat loop all around it. Since the loop only has one vertex in it where the head is, everything's going to parent to that head. And that's that, the explorer is all re-anchored and parented. As you can see, StickyWeb is a super handy tool to get your characters up and running at the start of a project. I'm going to polish and update StickyWeb as time goes on, and any future features will be going into the full version only. So give StickyWeb a try, and then get your hands on the full version. StickyWeb will be a very welcome addition to your workflow.